My name is Lisa Kulik and I'm from Peoria, Arizona. I was diagnosed with retinitis pigmentosa a little over 30 years ago. No, I was already married and I was pregnant at the time with my first son. I went to an eye visit with an optometrist and he saw some spots on my retinas. It was gradual through the years and within about the last 10 years, I pretty much needed assistance getting around anywhere. With this artificial retinal implant, we are able to provide sight, some sight, to people who essentially cannot see at all. It was almost two years from the time I found out about the procedure until I actually had the surgery. They attached a, a bionic retina, a chip to my eye. This portion is implanted around the eye and then this portion consisting of the cable and the electrode array is internal to the eye. And the electronics cable here is inserted through the sclera or the white part of the eye Inside the eye, the electronics array sits on top of the retina centered on the macula and is held in place with a retinal tack. Um, the surgery took about five and a half hours. The surgery, you know, was the first that, uh, that we've done here, actually west of Mississippi, of the first approved device. The camera is right there, the little dot. That picks up what I'm seeing and relays it through this cable into the video box which um, relays it to the transmitter here and that sends it to the electrodes that they put into the optic nerve and it relays to my brain what it's seeing. Uh, you can't even tell which eyes have really been implanted after a few weeks. Um, and then comes the part about training the brain to see again. A few weeks after, um, there was a full moon and I saw that with the glasses on. And then the 4th of July we went to fireworks and I could see the fireworks. We walked around the campus here at USC and they let me walk alone. Um, I stopped because there was something, they were kind of surprised that I saw it, but it was a bush. So everything is headed in the right direction and way ahead of our expectations. I would like to possibly go back to work part-time, maybe working at a veterinary office answering phones. I'm optimistic that one day that will happen.